Sunday Saints in this Wednesday competition, starting with the first bus of candidates.
Ladies and gentlemen, our first box of the uh, candidates are Zoem Su. representing Barangay Bato. Candidate number one, please choose a question. Allow me to read the question. What do you think best represents represents Bongan City? and the Bulonganans among the things, events, or places that we can offer to tourists, and why? Hello? So, if I am going to represent Bulongan or offer to our tourists, it would definitely be the Fadulong Festival because this states the story of our Virgin Mary, how is it travel? And it is, we celebrate it during the Festa celebration. And I think that that is one of the most, um, uh, that is one of the most well known here in our, in our general locality. Thank you. Once again, we're the beginning of the Tumisimo candidate number one. Let's retreat to be the beating ball and to be some of candidate number two. Yes, I'm going to be some of the long guy. Candidate, please choose your candidate number two. Thank you. 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 What do you think is the best way that we can promote Bohongan City as an alternative tourist destination and what? Again, what do you think is the best way that we can promote Bohongan City as an alternative tourist destination and what? Mainstream media is a major contributor to our tourism at this point of time. Uh, some people may associate our tourism to our uh, rivers, oceans, and caves. But I believe we should also highlight our people, our products, and how it feels to be a Borongano. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your question. Your question goes this way. Could Bulongan City compare and compete with other well tourist destinations in the country? Again, could Bulongan City compare and compete with other well tourist destinations? is in, in this country. Thank you so much. The Borgan City could compete with other uh, tourist destinations in our country because we are rich in marine life and vast biodiversity. Our... We are rich in, uh, we are rich in marine life and vast biodiversity. Our... Sensualizing our water depicts the beautiful sun in the east and we can enjoy a lot of several activities in our city like snorkeling, kayaking, diving, rappelling and 
it's rejuvenating it's rejuvenating water. So come visit and be mesmerized with the beauty of Burangan City. Thank you so much. Check, check. Once again, the meeting belongs to Miss Kennedy, number three, Miss Christine, Miss Hel Ladilao, Barangay, my Pangan. Now let's move on to the next candidate. We have been meeting belongs to Miss Kennedy, number four, Charlotte Nicole Busao, Barangay, that's all. Please choose your question. Kennedy, your question goes this way. If given a chance to speak to children about the importance of tourism, how could you explain it to them in a way that they would appreciate it? Again, if given a chance to speak to children about the importance of tourism, how would you explain it to them in a way that they would appreciate it? Thank you for that question. Nowadays, children believed to be the future generation to implement the goals that is set beyond the horizon. I believe that if we incorporate knowledge as well as the respect toward our mother nature with the education coming from our schools, coming from our local barangays, as well as our local community, we can be able to uplift their knowledge empower them that tourism manner matters our environment serves as our life our future defend, depends on our eco tourism i believe that if we incorporate to these studies with students and children i believe that we can make an act and provide an amplifier for the future thank you now, let's go on. We're beginning Buong and Tulisma Kennedy, number five, and Miss Teresa Urbano of Barangay Bala. Please choose your question. Kennedy, your question goes this way. How would you sell Bulongan City as a real tourist destination, considering that we sell as tourist destinations can be had in other places and more? Again, how would you sell Bulongan City as a real tourist destination, considering that we sell as tourist destinations can be had in other places and more? I will repeat the question, candidate. Uh, by the way, let us give our candidates uh, ample time to gain their composure as they complete their answers. Thank you so much, ladies and gents. Again, candidate, how would you sell Guangan City as a real tourist destination, considering that what we sell as tourist destinations can be uh, had in other places and more?
Co się odwiedzi od Mike'em, such as Pisco. Once again, that was the beating ball and the list will carry number five, Miss Tresi Borbano, Balangay Bal. Thank you so much. Let's proceed to our next candidate, the beating ball and the list will carry number six, Miss Jade Siler, the top left of Balangay Tabo. Candidate, please choose your question. It's a bit long question, Kennedy. One of the most important industries in the world today is the tourism industry. But it also poses serious concerns, especially with regards to trafficking of people and the possibility of proliferation of prostitution. Do you think that trafficking and prostitution would always be issues connected with tourism, or can we do something to stop this. Again, one of the most important industries in the world today is the tourism industry. But it also poses serious concerns, especially with regards to trafficking of people and the possibility of proliferation of prostitution. Do you think that trafficking and prostitution would always be issues connected with tourism or can we do something to stop this? Good evening. Proliferation of sex trafficking and sex and tourism is harmful and very dangerous. It is one of our major problems in our country that should be addressed seriously. And I, as an aspiring beauty queen, I will use my voice and influence to raise an awareness in preventing the sex trafficking and sex explosion in our country. Thank you. That was Candidate number seven, Norman Bruce, candidate number seven, Miss Ira Abula of Balangay, Canabo. Candidate, this is your question. Imagine being chosen to represent the city of Bolongue as one of the candidates of the Binibining Filipinas. What would you choose or use as the symbol of Bolongue and its people? And why? Again, imagine being chosen to represent the city of Bolongue as one of the candidates in the Binibining Filipinas. What would you choose or use as the symbol of Bolongue and its people? And why? Thank you for the wonderful question. This is just in a simple way, by describing the tourist attractions that we have and the world matters citizens that we have. That's why Borongan have progress and the home of the city of the Golden Sunrise, Borongan. Thank you. Thank you, Kennedy. That was the leading Borongan Tourism Kennedy, number seven, Nazaira Abu. Our next candidate is Bini Bini Bolong and Tulisa Kennedy. Number 8 is Arlene May and of Barangay C. Candidate, your question is? What do you consider as the best thing that Bulongan City could offer tourists so that they would choose to visit and enjoy in Bulongan City than anywhere else? Again, what do you consider as the best thing that Bulongan City could offer to tourists so that they would choose to visit and enjoy Bulongan City than anywhere else? Hello. Aside from Bulongan City is being the golden sunrise and as far as the King City of the East, Doranga City has a lot to offer. And I think that the best tourist that they should come visit is our places here and its people. Because, because the tourists will experience peace and their peace, tranquility, and serenity. Thank you. Thank you, Binibini Bulogan Tomismo candidate number eight, Ms. Arlene May Andorra. 
Now we have the winning Roman's Wissel candidate number nine, Miss Kay Apita of Barangay Ando. Candidate, your question goes this way. What do you think is the importance of having this Miss Tourism to the development of the city of Bulongan? Again, what do you think is the importance of having this Miss Tourism to the de de development of the city of Bulongan? Having this kind of pageant here in Bulongan City gives us a key or a, or a future ambassadress that could represent our own city of Borongan, not only for national, but also internationally. And I believe that Borongan city can be the top city that promotes the tourism in an appropriate way. And I also believe that I am, could, and I could be that ambassadress in the near future. That would be all. Thank you. There you go. That was uh, the winning Roman tourism candidate number nine, Miss Kay Apita. And now, ladies and gents, our final candidate, the winning Roman tourism candidate number ten, Shireen Alia Montas of Barangay Kalingata. Can I please choose your question? Candidate, your question goes this way. What do you think are some factors that should be considered in selling Bulongan City as an alternative tourist destination? Again, what do you think are some factors that should be considered in selling Bulongan City as an alternative tourist destination? Thank you. I believe in a world full of negativities, I'm here standing in front of you, full of possibilities that yes, I will be the role model and as an example of young people nowadays. And being here in front of you, confident that I can be able to promote our my platform, to promote our own advocacy here in Barangay City. And I believe that I can be able to help our economy in by that. And I thank you. That was candidate, the beginning Bulongan, Tourismo candidate number 10, Ms. Shireen Alia Montes of Barangay Kalingan.